Hey, good morning everyone and greetings from Virginia Beach. Today we're at the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend Molly. And in this video here, we're gonna show you all around the Virginia Aquarium, all the animals and exhibits that can be found here. And it looks like when you come in, you're met with some harbor seals. And here you can see the harbor seals swimming around. Ooh. Cool way to welcome you to the aquarium. But good size tank for these hard guys. Oh, they're spinning around. Are they going to come back this way? I think they are. Yep, here they go. Woohoo! Alright, let's go check out the rest of the aquarium. If you were curious, the seals are named Hector and Rudder. The first exhibit, once you get to, once you make it inside, is wetlands and watersheds. I will say, the first exhibit is pretty well done in here. And Molly's over here making friends with a turtle. Swimming around. They do have a bunch of big fish in here as well. And then if you look over there, you can see a red-headed duck. Float around the water. Good start to the aquarium. I really like this exhibit. What? Up here is a crow. His name? Russell. Yeah, great. That's, That's a great name. Yeah, it's fantastic. Here's a better view of that duck who's, I believe he's cleaning himself over there. And the turtle. Yeah, and there's two larger turtles in the enclosure as well. The next section does have a couple of smaller enclosures and one much larger enclosure. This one over here has some snakes in it. You can see him coiled up underneath the tree. Probably his favorite spot. Mm -hmm. And you can see like the rattlesnake tail right there. We'll say if you like turtles, this might be the aquarium for you. And they got a whole bunch of them. And a whole bunch of different species. You have some other animals in here as well. Like you can see this gar swinging on by. You can see a lot of shiner fish in here. And they do have a couple of hellbenders, which are these amazing animals, but they are hiding at the moment. They're these giant salamanders that can grow up to about two feet long. And they have a couple in this enclosure, but they're all hiding. This enclosure here is home to lots of different types of tree frogs. You've got green, gray, and squirrel. There's a bunch in there. They're very neat looking animals. The aquarium is right on the river here and does feature a scenic overlook for you to come out and check out some of the native wildlife. Uh, we did see some fish jumping out of the water over there a little bit. This enclosure, there's not as easy to find in here. This is home to crabs. There's three different types. Yeah, you can see a larger one under the water right there. Look at this little mouth go. But my favorite, they have really, really, really tiny ones. Gonna have to use these super zoom to the fullest here. They blend in quite well. Yeah. With the mud. Well, there they go. They are. That's a really small animal. And these are uh, fiddler crabs, marsh crabs that are in here. That guy kind of hiding from us is a box fish. You can definitely see how it gets its name, as it's rather box-like. But you're really cool. This fish there has a very interesting name. That is the Slippery Dick. I didn't make it up. See? It's right there. The next section of the aquarium is the Restless Planet. Here we get to the Komodo Dragon area. I like that the Komodo Dragon, at least in this enclosure, he can look out onto the river nearby and into like the trees and the, the plants and stuff like that. I also really like this. I let you know the animal's name. This is Sanchez. He was born at the Columbus Zoo, which is, in my opinion, one of the best zoos in the entire country. Probably my second favorite. 
and he came over here to the Virginia Aquarium in 2007. And they have a second Komodo as well. This one is Tamon. Tamon is posing for us, which is a, always a plus. Also, this Komodo dragon in the second enclosure has a little pop-up where if that Komodo was over there, you get a really cool view of Tamon here. He was doing the tongue thing and drooling a minute ago. But not anymore. He's tired of all the attention I was giving him. <laughs> Tamon's on the move. Wow. That's fun. They're such cool animals. Here's the view of Tamon from the pop-up. Kind of get to look at him at eye level over here. All right, I'm now in the tube, and he is walking right over me. This is so cool. He's right there. Like, right there. Whoa! Look at the full experience here. The, what a cool guy. He's taking us on the Grand Circle Tour here. You can see his claws are making that noise there against the pop-up window. I'm coming in. Where's the, the next section of the features an underwater tunnel. All sorts oh, of animals a, in here. That's the unicorn tank. The rays they have in this one are really neat. Very, very pretty enclosure here filled with uh, some smaller fish and a uh, beautiful coral reef. I think this one, if I'm correct, connects to the larger underwater tunnel tank, but only certain sized fish could get into the coral reef area. The next section of the aquarium is the coastal deserts. And the desert section of the aquarium is pretty neat. Look at all these really colorful fish in here. And, uh, a very well done enclosure. With the section being desert based, no surprise you get some lizards. Over here is the urinate aromastics. He very much camouflages himself in there. Right up against the glass and appears to be having a nap is the Egyptian cobra. He looks longer than nine feet. He looks a lot. You can see the blue tongue skink over here. He's buried himself in some hay. More fun enclosures here. Let's get a warthog skull in there for these fish to swim around in. Next up, the peat swamps. Yeah, this animal However, is a Thomas honest, Toa. The way to tell is by the scales on their tail, and uh, I'm just... Looks like Thomas Toa is coming comes up for some air. Snap them down. They're not exactly the most fast moving. And now also, it's cool surface. above the water. It's cool pose if he's in. As you can see, like, yes. it kind of looks like a log on the top. Front paws on the water. Yeah. That's Got another nice enclosure here. Very pretty looking larger fish. He's about probably two and a half, three feet long. Uh, one pet peeve I have with the aquarium is they don't, a lot of these, they don't tell you what kind of fish they are. They just give you a QR code to try and fumble through. So I'm not, not a big fan of that. Yeah, that looks like. A lot of times at aquariums, you exit through the gift shop. Here, before you get to the sharks and the sea turtles, you enter through the gift shop. I can also see this area being used for special events. Oh yeah, this is definitely a private event room. Yes. All right, this one's off to a good start. We're looking at kind of a shipwreck here, complete with a spooky skeleton and some, uh, looks like some lionfish and a big old pufferfish over there. And they actually tell you which fish you're Hey, playing. there we go. Hey, there's a more eel in there as well. I have to try and find that. I believe they're doing targeting with this fish here. So if he hits the target, he gets a treat. Now we made it to what I'm assuming is probably the biggest tank in the aquarium. Home to sharks and fish. And a big, wonderful window. 
I also like that they have steps so if you want to sit down or just take in the view of the sharks swimming by. You can do that. Looks like we have to get feeding time for some of the fish over here. Looks like that's uh, food for some of the smaller yeah, animals. Yeah, the sharks are not No. That is a very big nurse shark. Right above us here, it's a nurse shark just hanging out. And they have a, a really cool view here, yeah? That's like a submarine. We can see that same big shark tank again, just from a different angle. And it's super fun. This is a chain dogfish, but what I love is actually the enclosure next to it where you can see the eggs with the little ones inside. As well as some much smaller... Baby ones. Yeah. A little tough to see with the glare. But hiding in this corner there is an American lobster. He looks giant. Got some seahorses over here. You can see one floating around. Swimming by up top, the lionfish, one of the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. And then these guys are awesome. They're camouflaged down here. It took me a couple minutes to find them. As you've got the scorpion fish. But it's just the algae on the rock. Over here is the mesmerizing purple striped jellyfish. Obviously got its name from its purple stripe there. More jellyfish, this time it's the lion's mane jelly. This one's not super common to see in a No, they're really nice. Very cool. Definitely more than one in there. Of course, they tried to decide to pop now after we walked away. I like that they have a second level deck for viewing the rails. You can come up here and just watch them from up above. The next one's very nice and makes a ton of sense. This is the Chesapeake Bay Aquarium with all animals that can be found right nearby. The Chesapeake Bay tank goes on for a long time. Very impressive. I believe we come to the end of the aquarium experience in here with this kind of trippy tunnel as you leave. Now this is pretty neat. The aquarium has a adventure park area, which is these big giant treetop ropes courses and zip lines. And it's hard to show them off because they're uh, they're really up there in camouflage in the trees, but this is an expensive experience, $57 if you want to go on this big old high ropes course in the forest. Something different the Virginia Aquarium offers is a boat trip. So you could go on a boat and see some dolphins possibly out over there by the ocean. That's an upcharge here for the dolphin tour, but I also imagine going on one of these with an aquarium would be really neat as to be much more knowledgeable than some other tours you might go on about dolphins. Just want to note the pricing here on the aquarium is $25 for adults to come in. If you want to do the dolphin watching, it's going to be $28 to go on that boat tour. There is a second building here at the aquarium. It's currently being refurbished. It's, uh, I believe the opening's pushed back down to fall of 2021, mm -hmm. but it's, it's going to be a good one because that's where they're going to have their octopus and their river otters. Uh, two of my favorite animals to see at an aquarium. The Osprey Cafe is the snack bar. 
and uh, looks very modern, actually, really nice. And that will do it for our time at the Virginia Aquarium. It took about an hour and a half for it for us to see all of it. Um, I would say I probably get my $25 worth. Especially with the Komodo dragon. You never see a pop-up by the Komodo dragon. No, that was absolutely my highlight. Mm -hmm. But there was other stuff in there that was really well done also. I thought, you know, I, I like the entry exhibit with the marshland. I like the uh, the big tank with the sharks and the big tank with the sea turtles. Mm -hmm. So they, they had a really nice collection of animals. And uh, some of the smaller fish as well were really well done. Like the scorpion fish, those guys are really cool. All right, if you have any questions or comments about the Virginia Aquarium, let me know in the comments section below, and thank you very much for watching.